Good evening. Welcome to the Richard Butler School Class of 2020 Promotion Exercises. At this time, I would like to introduce our Student Council President, Rebecca Prouse, who will lead us in the flag salute. I ask that you remain standing after the flag salute for the playing of our national anthem. Please stand for the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the national anthem. <laughs> Before we begin our promotion exercises, I would like to extend a heartfelt thank you to the following people. Dr. Dan Johnson, Superintendent of Schools, for his guidance and encouragement. The Butler Board of Education for their continuous support in the education of our children in the Butler Public School District. The Butler PTA for their continuous support of all students at RBS. Mrs. Joanne Knox, RBS Secretary, who worked extremely hard helping with the preparations for the ceremony. Ms. Lynn Lowndes and the RBS bands for their performance tonight at promotion. The RBS faculty for the time and dedication they put in every day for the students at RBS. Ms. Evelyn Horner, technology supervisor for her assistance in preparing for this virtual promotion, providing her guidance and expertise throughout this process. Mr. Joseph Scaparo and the entire buildings and grounds and custodial staff, for their work in setting up promotion. It is my pleasure to welcome Rebecca Prouse back to the podium to say a few words as a student council president. Hello, I'm Rebecca Prouse, the president of the student council and a member of the 2020 graduating class of Richard Butler School. I would like to thank the staff, faculty, students, and families for the opportunity to speak on this occasion. It seems like only yesterday when we stumbled into Richard Butler, unsure about where our future would take us. I was worried about the unknown variables of middle school. What if my teachers didn't like me? What if I wasn't smart enough? I was plagued with self-doubt and nerves. Yet a part of me was excited. Finally, I would be able to attend a new school, join new clubs, and meet new teachers. I imagine we all felt that way. Today, our strides take us away from the school we have called home for the past four years. In light of this bittersweet occasion, I have a few suggestions that I feel we must remember as we go to high school. I personally believe that our greatest asset in high school will be our ability to support each other. I'd like to share an experience I had that led me to believe this. When I was in sixth grade, I became terribly sick. My illness caused my absence from school for several months. When I returned to school, I could only walk on crutches. Despite knowing my grade, I was still worried about coming back to Richard Butler. I was nervous I wouldn't be able to get around the school or that I wouldn't be able to keep up with my duties as a student and a member of the student council. Yet when I came back to school, everyone was really supportive. My friends helped me with my books, and my classmates assisted me even when I had not asked for help. They made me cards when I stayed home. My teachers always asked how I was holding up and if there was anything they could do to help. The school staff had even put together a gift basket for me. Instead of feeling hopelessly stressed as I thought I would be, I felt normal. I am so lucky that I got to have such amazing teachers and classmates. I had thought that I was imposed if I asked my friends for assistance. After sixth grade, I realized that had never been true. Butler has always been a supportive community. It just took me a while to understand that. When we were younger, we supported each other during Hurricane Sandy. Just last year, we worked together to pull off an epic win 
in the first ever Ridiculous Blast of Spirit Week. For the past four years, we have decorated lockers for each other. We have even supported our veterans and local food banks to school events like the Veterans Day Breakfast and the annual food drive. Butler is one of the kindest communities I've ever known. As we move on to high school, we should remember to trust each other. We are each other's greatest allies. High school will be difficult. There will be new expectations and rules. Change will happen, whether we like it or not. Change is scary, but we can get through it together. Alone, we are a drop of water. But when we work together, we are a storm. High school may be different, but we will all find our place. Be true to yourself and you will succeed. Together, we can tackle any challenge that comes our way. Our support for each other will make us stronger than ever before. Some people say our story is coming to a close, that we will be separated forever, but I disagree. Our story is not ended, it has only just begun. Thank you, Rebecca. Throughout this school year, a number of our eighth graders have made impressive individual contributions to Richard Butler School and to the Butler community. Tonight, we will take a few minutes to recognize these students for their extraordinary performance and accomplishments in a variety of areas. The first award is the Butler Education Award, traditionally presented by Ms. Lynn Lowndes, president of the BEA. This award is given annually to two students who accomplish a high standard in scholastic work, demonstrate a genuine desire to serve their teachers and fellow students, and exemplify those qualities of character, loyalty, and industry to develop them as people and make a better school. The recipients of this award are Vincent Hewn and Callie Rappaport. The next award is the Knights of Columbus Award, traditionally given by Mr. Culp. This award has annually recognized students who are in good academic standing, but also possess qualities of loyalty, friendship, integrity, and humility within and outside the school community. This year's recipients of the Knights of Columbus Award are Isabella Kloss and Ethan Lillane. The Parent Teacher Association Award is traditionally presented by Mrs. Okus, president of the PTA. This award recognizes two students who have shown the most scholastic and character growth during their eighth grade year at RBS. The recipients are Dylan Saltz and Emma Ricker. Our Physical Education Award is given annually in recognition of and as testimonial to outstanding athletic achievement while participating in physical education for the 2019-2020 school year. This year's recipients of the Physical Education Award are Callie Rappaport and Kyle Perry. The Killian Menegan Community Service Scholarship is presented annually by Maureen and Cindy Killian Menegan with the belief and appreciation of the importance and enormous value community service contributes to our society, the Killian Menegan family has established this scholarship, which is given to two students of RBS who have volunteered their time and talent to the service of individuals and or organizations in our community in recognition of their commitment and dedication to the benefit of the lives of others and their own. This year's recipients are Olivia Smith and Yasmin Coots. The Morris County Superintendent's Middle School Leadership Award is presented annually to a graduating middle school student whose actions and deeds represent a model of citizenship and leadership in their respective school community. This year's recipient of the Morris County Superintendent's Middle School Leadership Award is Sophia Calvi. Next, the Presidential Academic Award is given annually by the President of the United States to students who have achieved outstanding academic excellence. These students achieve a final grade of a 90 or higher in all subject areas through their four years of middle school. Before we present these students with their award, I would like to read a letter that was sent by the President of the United States. Congratulations to the recipients of the 2020 President's Education Award. Over the past year, the individuals who have earned this distinguished honor have exhibited exceptional work ethic and determination. Our nation will soon look to these future leaders for guidance. 
and I am confident they will continue to build a stronger and more prosperous future for our great country. The First Lady joins me in applauding the educators, administrators, parents, and other community leaders who have been there every step of the way to encourage and uplift these bright young men and women. As the talented students pursue their dreams and passions, we send our best wishes for continued success. Keep up the great work. This year's recipients of the Presidential Academic Award are Ava Sorgi, Sophia Bruce, Sophia Calvi, Sabrina Chen, Yasmin Coots, Lindsay Drano, Ethan Lalane, Abigail Prouse, Rebecca Prouse, and Valerie Rivera. I would now like to recognize students who have been on the honor roll each marking period since fifth grade at Richard Butler Middle School. This is certainly an outstanding accomplishment and one that must be recognized. Ava Sorgi, Sophia Bruce, Sabrina Chen, Yasmin Coots, Lindsay Drano, Ethan Lalane, Abigail Prouse, Rebecca Prouse, Valerie Rivera, Matthew Schultes, Olivia Smith. Finally, I would like to recognize students who have achieved principal's list all marking periods since its implementation this year. These students have achieved a grade of 95 or better in all subjects for all marking periods. Sophia Calvi, Sabrina Chen, Lindsay Drino. Before I present the class of 2020 to Dr. Johnson, Superintendent of Schools, and Mrs. Luciani, President of the Board of Education, I would personally like to take some time to address the class of 2020. Well, it's sure been a year unlike any other. The first few months of school were spent with you testing the waters as the new leaders of RBS. Many of you rose to the occasion, showing the determination necessary for you to find personal success in your final year at RBS. Then, just as we were settling into a groove, beginning what would be the most exciting parts of your eighth grade year, Gettysburg, medieval time, your eighth grade dance, our year together within the walls of RBS came to a halt. Instead, we transitioned to coming together in your homes with messy hair and our PJs, trying to understand this new normal. Many of you easily transitioned. Some of you, as expected, tried to see what you could get away with. But in the end, you all showed your perseverance, realizing that hard work is a two-way street. You get back exactly what you put in. Now that your time at Richard Butler School has come to a close, I hope that when you look back at your time here, you realize and reflect on the many lessons that you have learned. Lessons about friendships. It's okay to take a break, and it's okay to grow apart. Lessons about what it means to do your best. It's your personal best that matters. You can't compare yourself to others. It's about comparing your current self with a you that you can be. Lessons about the choices you make. I hope that you leave RBS knowing that it is you and only you that controls your actions and the choices you make. Others may be there to guide you, but it is you who turn your thoughts into actions and goals for your future. As you enter high school, I encourage you to take the time and effort to explore, create, and find the passion for your future. Tonight is a wonderful opportunity for the entire community to celebrate the RBS class of 2020. To the parents of our graduates, we wanna thank you for entrusting your most precious gift with us. We congratulate you for the sacrifices you have made for your child and for becoming excellent teacher's assistants, monitoring your child's work and keeping them organized and on track during distance learning to the faculty and staff of Richard Butler School. Thank you for creating a learning environment that even from a distance emphasizes academic excellence and the development of the social and emotional well-being for each of our students. Your modeling and personal commitment to student growth continues to make RBS the special place it is. Through all of this, you show that while the doors of RBS were closed, your hearts were still open to support our students in any way that you could. And finally, to our graduates, remember, as you enter into the next four years of high school, that your actions will always speak louder than your words. Always show your teachers and administrators your personal best 
and your dedication to responsibility, respect, and integrity. Continue to reflect on your beliefs and actions as this will continue to determine your path in high school and beyond. And so, Mrs. Luciani, it gives me great pleasure to present to you, in anticipation of receiving their promotion certificates, the Richard Butler School Class of 2020. And now, the Class of 2020. Dennis J. Ackerman. Daniel Ahmad Akhtar. Christian Roland Alonso. Samantha Argenio Aiden Asorgi Ava Asorgi Jake Barton Esteban N. Basantes Robert Batipede Viviana Marie Bihan Bella Biancamano Cassidy Rose Boasso Sienna Bruce Sophia Bruce Kevin P. Budesheim Kayla Cajes Sophia Calvi Georginus P. Cepeda Sabrina Chen Gianna Marie Colasso Yasmin Sibyl Kutz Jillian Elizabeth Crum Diana Del Gershio. Ryan Devlin Lindsay Ray Drano Yira G. Escobar Sophia Rose Ferreira Angelica Florencio Margaret Griglack Haley M. Hutzabout Vincent Wynn Layla Jaber Ryan Jiang Andrew Charles Kanak Tyler Kibbers Gianna Kilmat Isabella K. Kloss Ethan Lalane Travis Connor Leal Angelina Major Sophia Mata Dominic Vincenzo Nicolicia Giovanni M. Ortiz Gianna Bella Peel Isaac Daniel Perez Kyle Joseph Perry 
Tyler Pizzino. Jacob Pogorzelski. Abigail Rose Prouse. Rebecca Mary Prouse. Callie Rapapart. Emma Ricker. Marilis Rivera. Valerie S. Rivera. Mark Anthony Rosania. Christian Daniel Safi. Jordan Catherine Safi. Dylan Saltz. Genesee Sepulveda. Rania Shihada. Matthew R. Schultes. Olivia Abigail Smith. Jessica Marie Soderstrom. Emma Faith Thompson. Julian Till. Mikhail Tragna. Elizabeth Teresa Vanderbeek. Robin Carol Vandergoot. Mackenzie Marie Vecchione. Alexa Charlotte Whisker. Amir Talha Yilmaz. And now a few words for Senator Cory Booker. Hi, it's Cory Booker, the senator from our great state of New Jersey. And I wanted to record a message for all of our eighth grade graduates here in our great garden state. And I am grateful, first and foremost, to the whole community that made this important graduation possible. From parents to teachers, faculty, staff, administrators, custodial staff, people working in cafeterias. It took so many people working together to support our young folks to get to this great graduation. And to the class of 2020, your grit and your goodness, uh, your struggle and even sacrifice that made this day possible, it is laying a foundation for you for an incredible high school experience. You all are actually a part of my unconquerable faith in our future. I believe in you and all the infinite possibilities that you have for your journey. And I congratulate you. I celebrate you. I am deeply proud of you and how you're making us, through your work, you're making us even more Jersey strong. Now it is my pleasure to invite up to the podium our 2020 National Junior Honor Society President, Sophia Calvi, to say a few words and conclude our 2020 promotion ceremony. Good afternoon. My name is Sophia Calvi and I'm the president of the National Junior Honor Society. I'm very pleased to be speaking to you all, even if it's over a screen. Teachers, staff, families, and fellow graduates, I'm honored to share my thoughts on our eighth grade graduation. As I'm sure you would agree, I wish that we could have been together in person these past few months and now to celebrate. Since March 13th, we've been working from home, getting used to distance learning at the same time, losing out on many eighth grade experiences. But I have to come to realize that life is a coin toss. Sometimes you're dealt a good hand and sometimes it could go the other way. Not only nationwide, but worldwide, the class of 2020 and their teachers have been dealt a pretty rough hand. In a very strange way, we're all connected by this, but it's what you do with that hand that defines you as a person. There have been a lot of memories made throughout the years we've been at Richard Butler School, but now we're all growing up and moving forward toward high school. Even though we'll be leaving, we won't forget our time here. One memory that has stuck in my mind would be Mr. Vanderhorn's seventh and eighth grade volleyball game for Theo. There were a lot of good personal memories from the game and it brought our whole grade together, which doesn't happen often enough. 
Losing because the God Squad was completely overpowered wasn't the best moment of the night, but all the teams just laughed about it afterwards. It really is crazy to see how we've all grown in such a short period of time. A few months ago, we might have taken our time together at RBS for granted, all of us thinking that we would have just met up at school the next day. But the world is always changing, for the better and worse, and we were dealt a new hand every day. Within a day's time, we need to change our entire lifestyle to connect with our friends, teachers, teams, and to our families without being able to see them. Simply put, life can be extremely unpredictable at times. The only thing we can truly control is how we react to situations. We have entered a new age of learning, and for that, the class of 2020 will always have a unique perspective and experience that will never be replicated. And here within our Butler community, it will always have a reminder of our middle school years. Even though graduation may be a little different this year, it's still a huge accomplishment that all of us have gotten through middle school. Now, we have to look into the events that lay ahead in our future, which is still so unclear for everyone. But now, we're ready for whatever hand we are dealt with next. Speaking for myself and the other graduates, thank you. Thank you to the families for everything you've done to help us get here. A special thank you to the teachers for putting up with us for so long and making sure we kept on track. Thank you for the staff members who provided lunch for us every day, the staff who made sure the school was clean, and the staff who helped our physical and mental well-being. And thank you to the other students in our grade who made many moments in middle school worth remembering, even if I'm unable to say them in this speech. Moving on, I just want to say good luck to everyone so that they can achieve their goals and go beyond. These last few years would have been incredibly boring without you all, and here are some wise words before I go. As said by Napoleon Hill, life is a game board. Time is your opponent. If you procrastinate, you will lose the game. You must move to be victorious. Life's already started playing. You better go catch up with it to stay in the game. Oh, and yes, softball is indeed a sport. <laughs> Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2020.